Good evening. My name is Satya Siddhartha Panda, and I'm from India. And today I'm going to present my research paper titled on social media, an innovative approach towards enhancing students' learning and engagement. So this is my outline of my presentation, introduction. Then I'm going to be talking about literature review and talking about a conceptual framework, social media integrated learning process, and what are the various scope of future research I identified through my literature review, and then the discussion, conclusion in the last references. So when we're talking about social media, I mean, very often we, we have observed that, you know, the young generation, the future of our country, always spend a lot of time on their you know pocket tv i call it as a smartphone and also when we're talking about you know the various research right in the recent year you know social media platform have emerged as a powerful tools for communication and in fact networking and information sharing beyond their you know conventional usage of socialization Social media platforms have increasingly found their way into educational settings, offering various innovative approaches and enhance student learning and engagement. If I'm talking about a recent, you know, the report, uh, you know, the top five regions that, you know, uh, the research found that what are the various ways, you know, students use and why they use social media and quite interesting you're talking about, you know, the reason for social media. If you look at the number one, which is after new information, 79.7% of students, right, using social media for obtaining a new information, in fact. And talking about the second one, keep in touch with friends, you know, networking, 74%. And the third one, facilitating work, right, could be their project, intensive and academic work, 55.1%. And keep in touch with their family and, you know, socialization, 47.1%. And charting is 43.6%. So, you know, thus we can, we, can, we can summarize through this, you know, the numbers that uh, it's very, visi very visible to all of us that, you know, maximum utilize social media for obtaining new information and learning something new, right? And that's why the... It's not about a, you know, new media. I call it as a new age of, you know, generation who is, you know, getting into uh, social media for, uh, you know, obtaining new information and learning, for, you know, the what they need out of it, right? So it's very important. Uh, and I found during my literature review as well that, you know, one of a study, right? If you're looking about my slide, in 2020, right, uh, they explore the use of adaptive learning platform integrating with social media data analytics. And, you know, they're demonstrating their effectiveness in providing personalized recommendation and adaptive assessments, right? That's quite, uh, you know, interesting. And coming back for the research conducted during the specific period, you know, where they highlighted about the positive impact of social media on student learning. And also subsequently in 2021, uh, there is another study demonstrated that, you know, you know, plug-in of social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok into language learning courses resulted in improved student engagement and motivation as well. And also subsequently, the recent study, uh, you know, similarly in 2023, found that utilizing YouTube videos as supplementary learning resources, right, enhancing student understanding of complex concept in science education. And subsequently, in another paper in 2023 uh, investigated the role of social media algorithm in cultivating customized learning pathways, you know, based on student learning profile and interest. This finding highlight the transformative potential of social media in promoting learner center approach, right? I call it as a learning centric approaches and optimizing learning outcomes. Now, when we're talking about a problem statement, right? Uh, in today's digital age, as you know, the social media platform have been become very, 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 uh, you know, not a new norm as such, you know, but again, profoundly influencing various aspects of society, including education as well. 
However, despite of this wide spectrum of use of social media among students, its potential as a tool of enhancing learning and engagement remain largely untapped with the traditional educational settings. Subsequently, there is a critical need to explore innovative approaches to integrate social media into educational practices to foster more effective learning environment. And that's why this research aims to investigate the impact of leveraging social media platform as a supplementary tool for students' learning and engagement. Right, and it also seeks the following questions. If I talking about one, how can social media platform be effectively integrated into educational settings to complement traditional teaching methods, right? And then what are the perceived benefits associated using social media for student learning and engagement? And how do different social media platform cater to diverse learning style and preferences, right? And then, you know, what are the strategy can a faculty of an university in higher education, you know, utilize and optimize the use of social media for promoting active participation and collaboration among students, right? And that's where, you know, you're talking about, um, uh, you know, faculty engagement on social media. Because faculty are the pivotal force of learning, uh, you know, process in an organization. And I do believe that, you know, the teaching fraternity of any educational institutions plays a very vital role in keeping and, you know, I and ensure that students shaping their career through their self-learning, collaborative learning, and many other way of learning pattern. And I believe faculty engagement on social media for student learning is an increasingly, you know, best practices in higher education as well. And that's why, you know, you're talking about, you know, 80% of faculty use social media for some aspects course they are teaching, right? And that's why the collaboration is a huge opportunity at, you know, higher education space, engaging, you know, students or the group, right? Using social media associated to various, you know, dimension of learning in any, uh, you know, uh, any space. And that's why, some of the best practices, what I have noticed uh, through various literature, that faculty engagement on social media, yes, establish a clear guidelines, right? That's very important. Promote active engagement, right? Poster community building, provide ongoing support, right? And that's why the model, if you're talking about social media integrated learning process, and if you see, you know, that's where, you know, the model speaks about information and knowledge, where I call it as a you know, changing nature of learners. They knew as learner, their pattern, right? Their mindset is quite different, right? And that's where, you know, you 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 constraint and connection, connection, you know, to the, you know, beyond the book and beyond the classroom, right? And then where the social media plays an important role to reconnect, right? And then, you know, adopting a social media and, you know, you need to hybrid model. We're talking about, we're talking about online pedagogy, but I believe that, does, you know, plug into your social media into the classroom, create a positive, you know, uh, atmosphere of learning because that's what the new age generation speaks about, right? And then it leverages social media and education also. It brings a lot of new opportunity, new collaboration. And social media can be an effective tool of transforming, you know, learning pedagogy in an effective way for the new age, you know, generation of students, which we have, right? And that's why, you know, we're talking about the phenomenal of research for the, or the scope of research, right? Which is, you know, research on use of social media for enhancing student learning and engagement, right? So, and even new education policy emphasizing on outcome-based learning, right? Where, you know, engagement is a key, you know, uh, key opportunities, uh, you know? And that's why if you're talking about the future uh, scope of research, you know, effectiveness of different platform. Investigate and find out, you know, what are the various platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or many others, right, in different educational context, right? Understanding which platform are most suitable for specific type of learning activities, right? That's why one scope I found through my literature review and the pedagogical strategy, right? What kind of teaching methodology, right? Exploring innovative pedagogical you know, pedagogical approaches that leverage social media for teaching and learning, right? That we need to investigate. 
impact on you know student engagement right conducting you know long study on to to assess the long term impact on social media use on student engagement and motivation right and uh, you know cross cultural study also because today you know this foreign universities or in even in india if we're talking about you know the, the crowd is much diverse no more as india no more as you know only a very specific or a one state it's always about you know the globe global you know audience are there at one place so conducting a cross cultural study to examine how cultural factor influence student use of social media for learning and engagement and this research can help identify cultural you know norms or preferences to inform and design the implementation of social media in educational you know interventional strategy and also you know technological impact of technology talking about uh, you know artificial intelligence augmented reality you know virtual reality right investigate the you know effort investigate the scope of this technology where it can create a new avenues and research and practices in educational setting right so i believe that overall future of direction of research on social media in education can be focused on advancing our understanding of how harness the potential of this platform to cater engagement collaboration and inclusive learning experiences for student across diverse contexts that's very important and that's why the conclusion talks about social media represents a you know new shift you know newness in education offering you know different dimension of opportunity to transform you know teaching and learning practices right by implementing the power of social media platform like educated like us can create a dynamic and interactive and in fact personalized learning experiences that you know bring a lot of you know digital native student fostering deeper engagement collaboration and lifelong learning skill right and that's very important right so thank you so much for listening and giving me an opportunity to share my thoughts on this